This thing came from deep space, not in our system, not from your Oort cloud or your Kuiper First belt. First time ever an object from interstellar space has been observed to visit our solar system. Now, this thing's got to be like a ship, right? That looks too much like a spaceship. This is not a photograph. What? This is an artist's rendering. I'm just saying they, this cigars don't come journeying into solar system. So, Which is why it has to be an alien <laughs> this spaceship. This is a Cohiba cigar. Yeah. Right. Asteroids, we know, yeah. uh, many of them, if not most of them, are loosely held together rubble piles. Uh -huh. And if they come near uh, gravitational sources, tidal forces can stretch them so that they become a stream oh, yeah, of particles sure. rather than just one solid mass. So and this so thing this is, isn't solid? This, it is likely not solid. What is it? But, but the, the signal we get from it is elongated, but it's probably a rubble pile stretched into that shape. Because mm -hmm. you don't get that by, by nature. You don't get that. Yeah, that's why it's man-made. Here's the problem. This thing came in moving fast. Yeah. Fa it has escape velocity, a hyperbolic orbit. What? Okay, hyperbolic trajectory. <laughs> okay. That's why call, we say hyper, hyperbolic. Yeah. So the reason why it's probably not aliens is its trajectory around the sun was completely determined by gravitational forces. How do you know? Because we know, we calculate this. We have this laws of gravity, laws well, look, of look physics. At this, look at this, see this, see that? That trajectory was completely controlled by gravitational forces after it reached its peak up here and came back down, and yet a thinking creature started the process, okay? It doesn't mean, if this came in, you go, oh, gravity did that, but somebody made it go to here. Check mate.